Yo, yeah, y'all. This is not reading. So, in my besties, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Got me a Nature's Bakery brownie. And double chocolate. Oh, so it has dates in it. I like dates a lot. Recently, I had a peanut butter banana smoothie that happened to have dates in it, and it made the whole smoothie. Isn't that so cute? I'm so hungry. My appetite is weird. Yeah, I know. You're jealous. You can't have my brownie. What's in the ingredients? Flour, cane, sugar, syrup, date paste. That's why it's so heavy. There's more dates in it than there is cocoa powder. It's good though. It's kosher, it's nut free, it's dairy free. All the freeze. All right, enjoy the show. I'll be enjoying my vegan brownie. Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this, please give it a thumbs up like comment react share subscribe all the good things we're going to be doing a another boxy charm unboxing and this is a very special um, unboxing because today's boxy charm is a boxy charm premium it is also a collab with Norvina from Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics. Ah! I'm so happy, so excited, so glad to share this with y'all. Like I have their phenomenal eyeshadow palettes. The only ones I've bought are the Sultry and the Norvina palette. It's so sad, these are like, used to the gills. I am, you know, pushing it a little bit. Like, I'm using these a little bit past their prime, but it's because I love them so much. Like, honest to God, that it is the GOAT eyeshadow palette, the Norvina and the Sultry to me. There hasn't been an eyeshadow palette since I got those ones in 2018 and 2019 that has been comparable in any way. And I've, you know, had some good eyeshadow palettes. Morphe's had some decent palettes. Um, Naked, you know, Urban Decay, Tarte had a particular palette that I loved. Juvia's Place. But nothing, you know, the, really compares to the, those two, the Sultry and the Norvina. Like, I'm using them to death. Um, they're just such staples. Like, one of the colors in the Norvina is, like, my transition color for that I use, like, every time for, if I'm doing an eyeshadow look. Um, and I just love them so much. I don't have all of their stuff. But the few products that I do have, I really do like. I'm excited. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First item on the list is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrating Oil. So, I'm thinking I would use, I could use this either as a primer if I was really feeling particularly spicy one day or as a just serum um because i don't have many face oils i have a lot of serums and then moisturizers so i thought this would be nice to this is actually a good add to my skincare collection i'm gonna put it right there um i love once again the packaging everything's to die for with this whole collaboration like the black with the silver print is so sleek and like almost futuristic to me it's like simple but 
fantastic at the same time. You can't go wrong with this packaging. And then I got the Anastasia Curly Hills Brow Definer in the color medium brown. I feel like they went a little, I mean, it's hard to tell. Oh, there's a spoolie on one end. I forgot about that. And then the brow definer is on the other. It's an angle brush. I feel like this takes a little bit more guesswork. Like the brow definers are definitely not the same as the eyebrow pencils. Like you can't just slap or slap it on and just be on your way. I think I'm gonna have to watch a couple tutorials on how to use the definers because I don't have, I haven't used that much in the past. You can, you can like barely see it. Do you see it? I think it'll still work. Because my eyes are, I mean, my my um, eyebrows are dark brown. They're just more so like black brown. I guess it is dark enough. I just feel like it's so faint. So I need to watch a tutorial too on the brow definers because I'm still not 100% down on like the concept of them. I know that they're supposed to, you can use them to make like little tiny like hair, little hair like hair looking streaks on your eyebrows um, to make them f be fuller, darker, more defined, but I'm not, I don't have the science down on how to actually use them. So there is that. Then I have the false lashes. They're called snazzy. I love the whole sparkle. There's a there's a theme. There's a theme with this. They're pretty. I like these lashes and I'm kind of picky on my lashes. These are just long enough. I like my lashes long. I don't know. I'm growing to like the shorter eyelashes, um, but that's just the thing. Next we have uh, the dewy set setting spray Let's spray y'all Like look at that Sparkle you cannot beat that. I'm like this is me all the way. This is over top over the top like my personality And like if you have the time and the money Go all out with the packaging then yes, you can produce your best work and that would be your best do the best that you can because that means you're putting in the full effort and like it's your best work. But if you don't have time for that, but you're still like capable of making remarkable makeup, don't waste so much time and energy on packaging. I would rather the makeup be the best thing ever and the packaging just be the white print in a simple black box and not bedazzled, not engraved, not embossed. Like it doesn't have to be fancy. So then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Peach Fizz Loose Highlighter. I should put it on me. Kinda like that. My face, my skin is kind of like dewy and like glowy on its own today. This. Ow! And last but not least, wait for it, drum roll please. Da, 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 da. I got the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette in volume one a year and a half ago or two years ago, I believe this came out and like, God, it is massive, but it's still pretty. It still has a lot of colors in it. Um, apparently this like palette was targeting, it's probably targeting everyone, but I know it was also trying to target like makeup artists, like kind of like a basic palette, like having some bold colors, but like at the same time, like 
it's almost like a rainbow minus the green it like has a lot of little basic colors black brown the pinks the golds the purples the mustardy yellows you've got an orange Ooh, that looks like a highlighter orange it's like orange red that's like one of my favorite colors um for makeup like i want to get an orange red lipstick i also want to get more orange lipsticks because i only have two at the moment um so that was what i was most excited about because this whole box was $35 for the premium box. Um, but with all the Anastasia products, like it was a nice variety of products. Like it wasn't all the same thing. Like you could almost do, if we had the, like the a foundation, we could have done, we could have done a full face basically with this box alone. I was most excited about this because I wanted this palette year and a half, two years ago when it first came out. Um, but, you know, I just never around, got around to it, to paying $60 for it. No, it just ended up not happening. And it was coming, makeup was expensive, and it was coming out too fast because I literally turn around, you know, the volume one comes out. And then as soon as I know, we know it, volume three is out. And I'm just like, I can't keep up. And then, you know, last year with COVID and quarantine, things kind of died down and, you know, getting makeup, like you didn't have to be all updated with makeup anymore because people weren't using as much makeup because you could only see half of their faces. Um, but I mean, that, I mean, that's still the case in some places, in many places, but yeah, I mean, what a deal. Like this whole box retails at like $200. You can't beat that value. That's that is the beauty of beauty subscription boxes. You really do get a lot of bang for your buck. It's definitely worth it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one okay bye